All right. Uh, hi, everyone, and uh, welcome to this uh, to a very interesting. Uh, uh, how can I? I'm just excited, and I'm not able to. I may not be able to formulate sentences, but uh, welcome to a very exciting uh, execution to the whole smart home concept. Uh, those of you who know me that uh, know that I'm in. I've been into smart homes, voice assistants, sensors, and quite a bit. So I've uh, I, I had a few days off. And I decided to work on creating a complete dashboard, uh, which you can use to complete, uh, to control your smart home. Now, as an example, uh, what you see over here is a dashboard which will control every aspect of my bedroom. Um, we're using a uh, we're using a, an open source software. It's completely free to use, and anybody can uh, integrate smart home their smart home equipment with this particular software. And this gives you this lovely dashboard, which is completely functional. Now, when you talk about a smart home, or let's talk about this smart room. Most rooms would have, this is a bedroom, right? So what do you have over here? You have, you have lights, uh, you have a fan, you have air conditioners, you have a TV, and uh, you have a, a music system and a home theater. So this particular dashboard here controls every aspect of it, right? So now just to give you an idea, the hardware in this room is, um, is as follows. For lights, we're using uh, Philips Hue lights. Uh, and uh, for fan, we have a regular ceiling fan, uh, which is connected to a smart switchboard, which is right over here. Um, the uh, air conditioner is a regular VRF, LG VRF unit, uh, which is mounted. And uh, we have con we control that as well. We also have uh, temperature sensors and humidity sensors in the room. So you can see the trends uh, of temperature changes and humidity changes uh, for the past 24 hours, right? But then those sensors also give us a capability of automatically controlling our air conditioner using the air conditioner panel. So let's discuss each of these panels one at a time, okay? Uh, the very first one, we have lights and scenes. Now, since we're dealing with a Philips Hue product, we have different scenes available with us. So let's just do this. Let's switch off all the lights. Ta-da! All lights are off. And uh, let's say you want, when you come in and you want a daylight white theme, right? So you just click on execute next to daylight white and you'll see that the Philips Hue lights have gone into a, well, I'm not sure if we can make out over the, over the video, but they're a yellowish white theme, right? Now, there's a, there's, there's a scene called Concentrate, so let's click on Concentrate, and uh, there you go. The th colors have now changed into a more yellow, warmish theme, right? Now, you can then create more themes. So, for example, you can have a galaxy theme, which is nothing but completely dark and just red indents over here. So, I kind of use it when I want to listen to music just before going to bed. Um, you have a movie theme which is nothing but a small, a small other play on the galaxy theme, right? Um, you have a relaxed theme, which makes all the lights go really warm yellow. It's good, in, it's, it's great in the winters. And the theme here, which I've called winter, is kind of a more dull, subdued lights. You'll notice that the top lights have gone off, uh, just the LED strips behind the TV, on the cabinet, and uh, on the desktop lamp are on, but everything else is off. Right, so you can control every aspect of the lights over here. So switch off, all lights have gone off. Ah. Uh, so for the purpose of this video, I've been enjoying the winter light scheme, so we'll just go ahead and use the winter light scheme. Now, the second aspect is the climate control. Now, the climate control card only has fan on and fan off. Um, I haven't worked out the ability to control speed as of yet because the software which controls this particular switchboard, which in turn controls the fan, uh, there's no direct link over here, so I've, I've had to find a workaround over there, so I'll get to it. But right now, for example, the fan, I switched it off while we were talking earlier, but it's off. So I'll go ahead and click on execute next to fan on. Now, because I'm using a workaround, it'll take a minute, it'll take a few seconds, but then the fan goes on. And similarly, you click on execute next to fan off, the fan will go off. So, uh, so the fan part is there, right? Uh, below the fan, you have the current temperature and the current humidity settings. Uh, well, these are the settings. These are actually values pulled up by the temperature and humidity sensor. Now, here's the fun part. 
right next to climate control do you see where it says air conditioner right now it's on so uh, you can also see that the ac is on you can see the vents are open and the light you can see the green light going over there so let's do this uh let's quickly go ahead and switch off the air conditioner so the ac has gone off you can see the power the lights have gone off and the vents have shut so this works perfectly and this is more than just a simple on and off control i'll switch it on right now now <clears throat> the figures which you see 27.3 the one in the large uh, figure that's the actual temperature of the room as determined by a temperature sensor and where it says 27 cooling that is the target temperature which means um i have targeted this room to be to come down to 27 degrees right and that's that's what i want the room to be to be at and uh, so what happens is now let's see i can adjust the temperature over here so now that i've moved the temperature to a value the, the target temperature the, the 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 temperature which the room should be i moved it to a value i changed it to a value which is greater than the current temperature which means the room is already cool the room is, is at 26.9 degrees, wherein my target temperature was 28. So the AC has gone to an idle mode. You'll notice that the, the blue highlights are still there, but the unit has actually switched off. So now what's going to happen is the current temperature, the moment it rises and goes above 28.5, the AC will automatically trigger trigger on. So let, let, me, just, uh, let me just go ahead and decrease the target temperature to, say, 24. And you'll notice that the AC mode has changed to cooling and the AC is now powering on again. So this works very well. Now, the so we've got the light dashboards and we've got the fan dashboards, the climate control dashboard. Now, what you see here is an exception is just a weather report. It's giving you the current weather outside and the weather forecast. Exceptional is just a term which the system uses to to to, to put in a, to, to show a weather which it doesn't have the proper information for so if there's any kind of exception but during the day when it's hot it displays sunny rainy whatever right it takes the weather from the open weather api next we have the climate trend and the humidity trend now the same sensor which is giving us the temperature and humidity values over here is used for these charts these charts give you the temperature and humidity trends over the past 24 hours let me just clear this out here we go so the upper one, uh, upper graph is for temperature, the lower graph is for humidity. Depending on real time humidity and temperature, the chart will update. So you, you, get, to, you get to have a historical idea of, what the, uh, of what, the, what the climate in the room has been like. And you, know, you, can, you can automate systems that way. You can create an automation where say the room temperature, well, that's already taken care of by the air conditioner, but you can actually have automations done that in case the temperature fall or if the humidity let, theoretically let's say the humidity falls below a certain value you can then connect a smart switch which will turn on your humidifier or in the case of winters you can say that if the temperature falls to a certain low value it will trigger your heater by the way the same way how we have air conditioner over here uh, this lg unit is actually a heating heating cum cooling unit so i can actually configure it during the winters that instead of cooling it changes to a heat mode so we cool over there the last thing we have is the music card. Now, as I mentioned, this room does have uh, uh, the, this room. Uh, this room does have a TV and a home theater. Now, I use Spotify for music, and as you can see, that's the card we have over here. And I've got the different playlists. Now, the way this card is configured is whenever you tap any of these playlists, except the last one, which says stop, the system is going to turn on your home theater. It's going to turn on your Fire TV stick. That's the device it uses to play. It's going to connect your Spotify to the Fire TV stick and then play the selected playlist on the Fire TV stick. So let's say, for example, right now there's nothing playing, right? Um, here's the TV and the home theater is below it. It's completely off. Okay, so let's say I want to listen to uh, Chill Listening or Kick and Country. Execute. Give it a minute. TV is still off, but the home theater is turned on. And that's loud. Let me just use the remote. But <laughs> so 
it's playing the country playlist. Now I can choose to pause the music from here or I can use this remote which uh, connects to my home theater. It's a smart remote in itself. Um, I can choose to go to the next track or if you want I can start a different playlist. So let's say 80s rock anthems. Give it a second and I started playing the playlist which is 80s rock anthems. Now once I'm done listening to music or if I'm say heading out of the room I can just choose stop playback. Stop playback will stop the playback on Spotify. You can see that the control has changed and and it has also switched off the home theater. So so this is the interface, right? And it is uh, it's it's a it's an old cheap tablet which I had lying around. So it's going to be I'm going to leave it like this. It's going to be plugged in forever. And here we have the bedroom control. Now I'm also working on other controls as well. So living room, lounge, uh, HVAC control. So this is this is the same cooling gauge. This is the heating gauge, right? But I've not put it over there. So I'm I'm really excited with the prospects over here. But the entire bedroom is now automated. Um, I can do one more thing. Um, the bathroom here has a geezer, which is connected to a smart plug. And I can probably create another category which says bathroom or miscellaneous or whatever. And I can actually enable the option. I can enable an option that I can switch on the geezer from here as well. So that's what I wanted to showcase over here. And uh, I'm really excited. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this one too. Thanks. Bye.